When you look at these two robots, the Unitree B2W and the Deep Robotics Linux, you might initially think they compare closely in specifications, but as you start digging into their features, it becomes clear that they are worlds apart. From payload capacity to endurance, sensors to weather protection, their differences are as vast as their price tags. The only real similarity between them is their use of wheels, which has revolutionized their ability to handle challenging terrains. Let's dive into a detailed comparison of their features, and by the end, I'd love to hear your thoughts on which robot offers the best value for its price. And also, I would like to know which of the two you would buy if they were available in your country. And of course, I am using Eleven Labs for this video. If you wish to give it a try for free today, there is a link in my description. And also, if you just want to inquire anything for free about Eleven Labs or Revoicer, feel free to reach out on my email in the description. First, let's address the basics. The Unitree B2.W was unveiled in late December of 2024, and as of now, it is priced at $100,000 on Unitree's website, although Unitree might reduce its price in the near future once they scale up production. On the other hand, the Deep Robotics Linux, introduced in November 2024, is a more budget-friendly option at just $17,999. And given that Deep Robotics is also based in China, and their previous models cost as low as $2,000, we know this robot's price will drop too. For now, these two robot dogs are the flagships of industrial-grade robotics. While both robots share wheels for enhanced maneuverability, their specs reveal drastically different capabilities. Starting with size and weight, the Unitree B2W stands at approximately 1,098 mm by 550 mm by 758 millimeters, or 43.2 inches, by 21.7 inches, by 29.8 inches, and weighs 75 kilograms or 165 pounds. In comparison, the Linux is significantly smaller with dimensions of 800 millimeters, by 500 millimeters, by 600 millimeters, or 31.5 inches, by 19.7 inches, by 23.6 inches, and a weight of 30 kilograms or 66 pounds. The size difference is more in height, but overall B2W is larger than Linux. This could suggest that the B2W robot dog is packed with more advanced components, but also maybe it's just the design materials where Linux uses more lightweight materials for portability and simpler applications. When it comes to payload capacity, the B2W stands in a league of its own. It can carry loads exceeding 40 kilograms or 88 pounds while running, and up to 120 kilograms or 265 pounds when stationary. It's even strong enough to carry a person weighing about 65 kilograms or 143 pounds. And on the website, they have indicated that it boasts a maximum horizontal pulling force of 100 kilograms or 220 pounds and can maintain a speed of 20 kilometers per hour or 12.4 miles per hour while pulling such a load. This makes it suitable for heavy-duty tasks like towing or industrial applications. The Linux, however, has a modest payload capacity of just 12 kilograms or 26.5 pounds. Deep Robotics has even included a disclaimer on its website, noting that all parameters are based on laboratory tests and may vary in real-world scenarios, indicating limited field testing compared to the extensively documented capabilities of the B2W. When it comes to the maximum speed, both of these robots have nearly the same maximum speed. For Unitree B2W, it can reach a maximum speed of 20 kilometers per hour or 12.4 miles per hour, while the Linux tops out at 18 kilometers per hour or 11.2 miles per hour, which are comparable speeds. For now, what we don't know about Linux is if it can also maintain its maximum speed while pulling heavy loads. Because think about it. If the robot dog can pull heavy equipment for you at its max speed, it means it will be able to finish up quickly and go do another task. In terms of endurance, the Linux can cover a distance of 15 kilometers or 9.3 miles. And also, they have indicated that it can operate for three hours on a single charge. It's unclear whether this range applies when it's carrying a payload, but it's safe to assume that any significant load would reduce its range. The B2W, on the other hand, can cover an impressive 50 kilometers or 31 miles while carrying a load of 40 kilograms or 88 pounds. Without a load, it could potentially travel even further, 
making it three times more capable in terms of range and operational efficiency. Both robots perform well on uneven terrain. The Linux can climb platforms up to 80 centimeters or 31.5 inches and navigate continuous 22 centimeters or 8.7 inches steps, while the B2W can handle step heights ranging from 20 centimeters to 25 centimeters or 7.9 inches to 9.8 inches, which is pretty close because the standard stair height is about 18 centimeters for the risers, but it is usually calculated by the engineer for each building. So this means both robots can climb stairs pretty much comfortably. Weather resistance is another crucial factor, especially for outdoor use. The Linux has an IP54 ingress protection rating, offering limited protection against dust and water splashes. It's suitable for indoor use or occasional exposure to damp conditions, but falls short in harsh environments. The B2W, on the other hand, boasts an IP67 rating. This means it is completely dust tight and can withstand temporary immersion in water up to 1 meter or 3.3 feet deep for 30 minutes. This level of protection makes the B2W far more versatile and reliable in extreme weather conditions. Temperature tolerance also highlights the differences between the two. The Linux operates within a temperature range of 0 to 40 degrees Celsius or 32 to 104 degrees Fahrenheit which limits its usability in freezing or extremely hot environments. But for the B2W, can function perfectly between minus 20 degrees Celsius and 55 degrees Celsius or minus 4 degrees Fahrenheit to 131 degrees Fahrenheit, making it suitable for a broader range of climates and applications. When it comes to control and perception, the Unitree B2W offers multiple configuration options including Intel Core i5 and i7 processors and Jetson Orin NNNX modules for advanced computing. This level of customization supports complex tasks in user development. Deep Robotics has not provided detailed information about the Linux's control systems, but they say it does include some features like intelligent OTA updates, app support, handheld remote control, and GPS, but it lacks the advanced computational power and versatility of the B2W battery systems show another distinction. The Linux features a hot swappable dual battery system with fast charging, ensuring minimal downtime. The B2W's battery performance, while not explicitly detailed in this comparison, supports its impressive endurance and load carrying capabilities. And maybe Deep Robotics is using a dual swappable battery because of the low mileage of just 15 kilometers. Other notable features that are mentioned for B2W Robot Dog include its ability to jump ditches up to 2 meters or 6.6 .6 feet wide, its 225 millimeters or 8.9 inches wheel diameter, and a maximum wheel speed of 57 radians per second with 50 newton meters torque. These capabilities, we had already discussed them in another video. The Linux, while impressive for its price, doesn't come close to matching these specs. In summary, while the Deep Robotics Linux offers excellent value for its price and is a solid entry-level robot dog, the Unitree B2W is in a completely different class. Its superior payload capacity, speed, endurance, sensor technology, weather resistance, and computational power make it the clear choice for demanding applications. However, the Linux's affordability and agility make it an attractive option for less intensive tasks. What do you think? Does the Unitree B2WW justify its $100,000 price tag? Or does the Linux offer better value for money at just $17,999? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below.